चैप्टर नाइन हेल्थी फूड की पॉइंट्स फूड ग्रुप्स डेफिशिएंसी डिजीजेस स्पॉलेज ऑफ फूड प्रजर्वेशन ऑफ फूड जर्नी ऑफ फूड इन आर बॉडी डैड Why is that boy so thin and has a swollen abdomen? He is suffering from a deficiency disease called Kwashiorkor. It is caused because of the lack of proteins in the diet. All of us need food to grow, to get energy, to walk and to keep our body healthy. Do we eat the same food items all the time? No, we eat a variety of food items every day. We need to eat the right type of food in every meal to keep ourselves healthy and grow well. There are a variety of nutrients in the food that we eat. However, not all nutrients that our body needs are present in all the food items. Food groups. There are three different groups of food: bodybuilding food or proteins, energy-giving food or fats and carbohydrates. protective food or minerals and vitamins if any of these food groups are absent in our diet for a few days it may lead to deficiency diseases proteins fats carbohydrates minerals and vitamins are the main nutrients in our food water and roughage are also essential for our body most of the food items contain more than one nutrient deficiency diseases If we take a diet that lacks some nutrients for a period of time, it may lead to a deficiency disease. Deficiency of vitamin A causes night blindness in children while deficiency of vitamin D causes rickets. Deficiency of minerals such as iron causes anemia and deficiency of iodine causes gouta. These diseases do not spread from person to person. However, Many people can suffer from these diseases at the same time. For example, many people living in mountainous regions suffer from gouta. This is due to the deficiency of iodine in the water they drink. These diseases can be prevented by consuming a balanced diet. Given below is a table with some deficiency diseases, their causes, symptoms and sources. Deficiency disease deficient nutrient symptom sources. Marasmus carbohydrates thin child with loose folds of skin rice wheat potato and maj Kwashiorkor protein swollen abdomen and thin legs eggs fish meat cereals and pulses Anemia iron loss of appetite and weight green leafy vegetables Gouta iodine swelling of the thyroid gland near the neck fish and iodized salt Rickets vitamin D bo legs sunlight milk fish and eggs Night blindness vitamin A person cannot see in dim light carrot butter milk spinach and green leafy vegetables berry berry vitamin B dry scaly skin and weakness milk eggs meat and green leafy vegetables scurvy vitamin C swelling and bleeding gums citrus fruits like lemon orange tomato and lime spoilage of food food gets spoilt when left at room temperature for a long time Tiny germs called bacteria are present in the air. They need air, warmth and food material to grow. When food is left at room temperature for a long time, bacteria begins to grow in the food. Sometimes we can see a white fluffy growth on the bread, cake or sweets. This is a fungus. Both bacteria and fungus are harmful to health. Such food becomes unfit for eating. All vegetables, fruits and milk get spoiled easily. Even cooked food gets spoiled at room temperature after some time. It is necessary to preserve food for later use. Preservation of food. We can preserve food using different methods. The method of food preservation depends on the nature of the food items. Some methods of food preservation are given below. Refrigeration Food kept in a cool place stays fresh for a longer time. At home, we store food, vegetables, fruits, meat and eggs in the refrigerator. Deep freezers are used for storing food for a much longer time. Airtight containers. 
This is the easiest method of preserving food. Moisture helps in breeding of bacteria and fungus. Hence, all grains and pulses are kept in airtight containers. Such containers also keep away insects, rodents and worms. Salting Some food items are preserved in salt. Salt absorbs moisture of the food and dehydrates it. All living things require water and cannot grow in the absence of it. High salt is toxic to most. Microbes like bacteria and fungus. Salt also gives taste to the food. Pickles and fish are preserved by this method. Boiling It is a common method of preserving food. High temperature destroys germs which spoil the food. Milk is boiled to preserve it. Sugaring It works similarly as salting. Thick sugar syrup absorbs moisture. Germs cannot live in sugar syrup. Jams and tin fruits are preserved by this method. Drying By removing water, moisture, from food items, we can preserve them for a longer time. Dehydrated peas and condensed milk stay for a long time. Germs do not grow in dehydrated food because there is not enough water to help them grow. Moisture, insects and rats destroy food grains. So food grains must be 1. First sun-dried, then cooled to room temperature and finally stored in a dry place in airtight containers. 2. Kept away from insects and rats. These pests eat away food grains and leave them diseased. Pasteurization This is the method to preserve milk. It was discovered by Louis Pasteur. In this method, milk is boiled for 10 to 15 minutes and then cooled very quickly. The sudden change in temperature kills the bacteria present in the milk. Journey of food in our body Our body cannot use the food that we eat directly. Food needs to be broken down into a simple form. This process is called digestion. The food which we eat passes through several organs such as mouth, food pipe, stomach, small intestine and large intestine to get digested. When we eat food, our teeth break it into small pieces. Our tongue helps to taste and move the food. From the mouth the food goes to the stomach through the food pipe. In the stomach, it is churned into a semi-fluid mixture. The digestive juices in the stomach further break down the food into simpler form. The partially digested food from the stomach enters the small intestine, where it is completely digested by the digestive juices. This completely digested food passes through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream. The blood absorbs the nutrients from the digested food and takes them to different parts of the body to give us energy. The non-absorbed or undigested food from the small intestine goes to the large intestine which absorbs the water from the food. The food gets converted into solid waste and is expelled out of the body as faces through anus. The process of digestion should be good to remain healthy. We should follow the points given below to keep our digestion good. Let's go an extra mile. The watery fluid in our mouth is called saliva. Take small bites. Chew the food well. Drink enough water during the day. It helps in the digestion of food. Do not sleep with a full stomach. Include food rich in fiber in the diet. It helps to move food within the body and eliminate waste from it. Elder talk. We should not waste food. Food preservation helps to prevent the wastage of food. All of us need food to live and grow. Food gives us energy to do our work. Deficiency of nutrients causes deficiency diseases. Food gets spoilt if we keep it for a long time. We can preserve food using different methods like refrigeration, salting, sugaring, boiling, pasteurization, etc. Food needs to be digested before our body can use it.